Hello everybody, uh, it's uh, Jimmy back again with another Geek Cast. Uh, this time, just a quick little Raspberry Pi 3 and um, Remote Pi board video. Uh, something weird I noticed, um, which is actually good weird, is that, um, okay, so basically here's my setup here. I have a Raspberry Pi 3 Vision B and a Remote Pi board that has a power cable, a power button on it, and also an infrared adapter. Uh, this board basically, the way it's set up, will let you power off and on a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 with a remote control. However, the big thing I've noticed everywhere or read about is that you have to basically disable HDMI CEC in order for the infrared uh, to work on OSMC slash Kodi. So, um, however, I've realized or noticed what I found out. I don't know if this is just a rare glitch or something, but I can repeat it over and over, is that once I got everything set up with the Remote Pi and um, the LRCD in um, OSMC, I was able to then go back and re-enable HDMI CEC and get both to seamlessly still work with each other, even though it shouldn't technically work per every post I've seen online. So here we go. Okay, um, I have a Western Digital TV remote. That's what I'm using for the profile. So. As you can see, it's got the ambient red light glowing on it, showing it's off. So my TV has HDMI control. It's not a very good one, but it works. It's Vizio. And you can also control this uh, light here too, the level. So I noticed that, light came on. I did not push any other remotes, just holding on to my infrared remote here. So there we go. Okay, so we'll just, you know, go down and look at our settings. I'm actually planning on revamping this skin here, which I gotta learn a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. A lot of things to learn to build skins for OSMC, it seems like, but whatever. It'll be worth it. Oh, okay. So, here we go. So, uh, system, I think it is? Yeah. Input. Oops. Sorry. And then a uh, little bit peripherals. So, this is the version I have. LibCC 4.0.2 from our version 1. Um, it's enabled. I have set the switch to source on startup. So that's why you saw it powered on. And then uh, we'll go into now our, I like setting up my settings so I can go to my OSMC settings here. We'll go over here to our remotes. Um, currently we're using, of course, the Wilson Digital TV Live Remote. Uh, I was going to play around with trying to get the other buttons to work on this remote, but we'll see. That's going to be some putty work and whatnot. Um, so yeah, okay, so now to prove it, here, we'll leave this remote here. It's my Vizio TV remote. This is not set up to run any infrared there, so this is just using Control HDMI. Yeah, that really shouldn't work, but it does, so yay! Um, let's check my uh, OSMC version here. Oops, that's over here, my bad. Thankfully, I configured my menus here, too. Let's see, we're running version... Does it tell us? Oh, there we go. Uh, Cody 17.5. So, it seems like the combination of that and the CEC add-on we have, and then enabling HDMI CEC after you get the LAR CD working, seems to allow both infrared and HDMI CEC control in OSMC. So, go OSMC. Well, there you go, that was a long rambling about inputs. <laughs> uh, love the little Raspberry Pi, um, this thing's great. I have a 500 movies on here for my parents. Set up the widget so it pulls up random uh, movies there every time they uh, power it up. 
Uh, we'll power down here too with the remote. To see that, because that's so, so rewarding. I noticed one thing though with this TV is that it takes it a little bit longer to fully power down. Like I'll see these lights here blink probably for like two to three minutes or so. But on my computer HDMI monitor that doesn't have a HDMI CC options, it uh, seems to shut down like right away. So, and then once it's off, you can then, you know, power back up again with this or the little button on there too. So yeah, it'll sit like that for probably no minute. But yeah, awesome. Loving it. It's a great little solution. All right, guys and gals. Peace.